Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Nicki Minaj continues to dominate the charts and holds a new status. Now, unfortunately, Loose Tooth um, is not in the top 10 on iTunes. But Nicki Minaj's Let Me Calm Down, um, the extended version that she recently put out, um, is currently number nine on iTunes. Unfortunately, like trash, the song Carney B just put out um, is dwindling down the charts. And allegedly, you know, it's supposed to debut in the top 60 on the Hot 100, which is not really that great. OK, not only that, though. Um, Nicki Minaj's sold out show for the Pink Friday 2 World Tour at Oakland Arena becomes the venue's second highest grossing single night by a hip hop artist since opening in 1966. So this kind of proves that Nicki Minaj definitely um, can sell out shows. Um, Nicki Minaj is probably the only female rapper besides Doja, that can do an arena tour. And Nicki Minaj is still adding on shows, okay? She is still adding festivals and shows to her world tour. Not only is Nicki constantly breaking records, but it also was reported that Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 world tour outpaces Doja's first two debut shows in ticket sales. Um, and predicted to break more records, okay? So Doja's first two shows did 26K in ticket sales. Nicki Minaj, for her, I think she did, what, two or three shows? It's been 40,000, okay? So basically almost double. Um, And here's the thing, you know, no shade of Doja. Doja kind of shot herself in the foot. With one putting out a trash album like Scarlet, no shade. I think Pink Friday 2 was a better overall album than Scarlet. And then also, no shade of Doja, but she did turn down Cowgirl. So, you know, she kind of lost some of the Barb support. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the other girls that have beefed with Nicki Minaj or show disdain for Nicki Minaj maneuver in the industry because. It seems as though when you're not on Nikki's good side, you lose support. Okay. Speaking of Doja, Doja extends her record as the only female rapper in history to chart multiple albums and songs on the Hot 100 and the Hot 200 chart. At the same time, on the Hot 100 currently, she has Agora Hills and The Town Is Dead. Okay. At number 12 and 23. And then on the album chart she has scarlet at number 59 and she has planet her at number 35 okay so congratulations to um you know doja for that you know that's actually pretty good for somebody that sold 6k in per sales no shade of doja um but planet her was a top tier album i think scarlet no shade of doja this is really no shade but I definitely think there's some payola involved because I don't really hear nobody talking about the Scarlet album anymore. Um, and to be quite honest, it's not as great as her other albums. Now, Bia just won't let up on Criminal B. So Bia also replied to a fan who was saying how Cardi B's newest snippet sounds like Bia's Fall Back, which is one of my favorite songs by Bia that have came out recently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the snippet. Um, she said this is just the beginning, sending out a warning to her haters. And a fan said, but Bia is definitely on Cardi B's mood board a lot. Bia then responded with several emojis. Okay. And then on top of that, she went on live and she started singing JT Sideways. Bitch, I ain't friendly. I don't fuck with y'all bitches. Try to take who? It ain't enough of y'all bitches. Whole so phony got me looking at him sideways. 
So then Botch and Bitter's lapdog, Botch Barbie, quotes one of Partisan Fontaine's lyrics from the Light Trash record. Um, it says, first this B-word hate me, then this B-word hate me, and somehow they link up and they become friends. Botch and Bitter's lapdog said this hits harder every day, which is interesting because Criminal B has a history of linking up with Nicki Minaj's ops. She linked up with Scratch Off after Scratch Off fell out with Nicki Minaj, okay? You didn't do no collaborations before Scratch Off and Nicki got into it. It don't matter if she was in a WAP music video. Nobody cares about that. And then on top of that, many faces ago, Cardi B and Remy Ma before her lipo and BBL surgery, they linked up, okay, to perform at Summer Jam where Remy Ma through hella shade at Nicki Minaj, okay? And so the naked mole rat, Botch and Bitter, decided to tweet, B-words make a fool out of themselves every single time. I'ma show y'all something when I release this song, though. So she is teasing another diss record towards JT, Bia, and allegedly Nicki Minaj. I heard she has another record where she's gonna be throwing some more shots at JT and Nicki Minaj, and she's going to be taking aim at Bia, okay? So let me know how y'all feel about that. And so it also has been reported that Criminal B's single not only has left the top 10 on iTunes, it has also departed on the U.S. Payola 5 charts and is predicted to go top 60 on the Hot 100. And it's the only female rapper to not have a solo top 10 (laughs) in four years. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's not funny. Oh, my goodness. It is not looking good for the naked mole rat. If she don't find a hint soon, she's going to have to go back to being naked on the pole. Okay. She's going to have to go back to her roots. I'm tired of Section 8 gang talking all this junk. But they seem to not support their favorite artists. But I guess that's why you call them Section 8 gang. Because they probably can't afford 69 cents for what the single probably cost. Then Criminal B also decided to do another PR stunt. Since like trash is flopping on the charts. Um, And she posted on her Instagram story, allegedly, that she hates manipulators. Okay, um, and a lot of fans are speculating that she's talking about off the cheat. In my opinion, it's the same cycle with off the cheat and Cardi B. Once their music starts flopping or they're not getting enough attention in the blogs, then she go back to the fake PR stunt of her and off the cheat getting a divorce. She always doing that. Oh, we broke up. Oh, he's a manipulator. It's the same tactic. When are they going to do a new PR stunt? You guys did that during the Pink Friday 2 release. I mean, can y'all come up with a new stunt? These tactics are getting old. No wonder you're not selling no records. She got more PR stunts and faces than albums. Now, speaking of female rap beef, you know, everybody used to talk about female unity, but these female rappers can't get along to save their lives. Um, You know, Ice Spice allegedly will be clapping back at um, Scratch Off for one, vandalizing one of her um, billboard trucks that she put out in Atlanta, where allegedly Scratch Off, the Karen spray tanner is from, um, even though some people say she's from Ohio, okay? And then also, if you guys remember, in Mistress Service, which flopped, no shade, that song went, um, aluminum foil. Um, unfortunately, Scratch Off did mention Ice Spice name. She said she got ice boiling though. So Ice Spice will be clapping back. It looks like there's no such thing as female rap unity and everybody is taking jabs at everybody and people are beefing. Now moving on to Queen B. Queen B outsold her closest competition more than three times over. It has been reported that Texas Hold'em secures a second week at number one 
on the digital song sales chart by selling 28,000 copies according to the numbers shared by Luminate. And allegedly the producers for the Country Music Awards want Queen B to perform, which is, I believe, April 7th of this year. So, you know, they want her to perform. Now, she performed back in 2016 with the Dixie Chicks. I think she performed Daddy's Lessons or something like that. And she received some backlash for performing there, um, you know, in 2016. But let me know how y'all would feel about her performing again. I think it makes sense for um, Queen Bee to perform at the Country Music Awards. I mean, she is putting out a country album. And she is the first black female artist to go number one on the Hot 100 with a country song. No other black female artist has been able to do that. So she's making history. It would be wrong for them to exclude her from performing at the Country Music Awards. Honestly, it could be considered discrimination. And even though I'm not really a fan of this country bumpkin music she putting out, you know, wrong is wrong and right is right. So I do think that Queen Bee deserves to perform. Now, Payola Board put out a paid article. Payola Board asked, does Cardi B really need to drop her sophomore album? Now, the cases for and against, okay? They said if Cardi wants to maintain her status on top of the rap food chain, she needs another album. Which will not only fortify her current position in the game, but strengthen her argument when it comes to being taken seriously as an all-time great rapper. (laughs) Okay, Payola, we gotta stop. If those are the conversations, if those are the conversations she's looking to hold her own in one day, another album will cement her status in rap lore. Paola Board also told Cardi B to take your flowers and be happy, while the noise from those beneath her can be pretty defeating. I don't know if they meant defeating. Um, That might be a typo. Just remember that what you told your haters seven years ago still applies. Little B, you can F with me if you wanted to. And then they also said if Cardi B retired today, she already be a Hall of Famer. She has five Hot 100 number ones to go to the 11 top 10s and 46 entries on the chart all in her seven years. (laughs) Oh my goodness. And one album that nobody talks about. Oh my goodness. I wonder how much they got paid to write this article. They said she was a Hall of Famer. Yeah, maybe for King of Diamonds, the strip club. But not in female rap. Okay, no shade. I'm sorry. I don't think that Carney B has enough influence in rap to be a Hall of Famer. Okay? Um, A lot of the newer girls have surpassed her. Like Dolce Cat and Nice Spice. No shade. But they have. So I don't really think that she's really a Hall of Famer. Okay? I don't think she has enough material to be a Hall of Famer. Okay? No shade. Um, but, um, if she was a hall of famer for the strip club that she used to work for, I can see that being possible. Okay. Um, so let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, moving on to the future queen of R&B. Yes, I said future queen of R&B, SZA. Her new song, Saturn, debuted on the Hot 100 at number six. And it was a surprise drop. And she also has um, Snooze that is still in the top 10, okay? This is why I have been telling y'all, okay, for the past year and a half now, that y'all got to stop playing with SZA. SZA's that girl. Now, to me personally, I did not really care for the Saturn song, in my opinion. Maybe I got to re-listen to it, but definitely wasn't my favorite um, SZA record, but at the end of the day, she's still topping the charts, okay? And y'all can't do nothing but respect it. I see a lot of people saying, oh, SZA can't sing. Well, she can sing, 
Okay. Maybe not as well as, you know, Queen B and Ariana, but she still can sing. And I think that SZA is going to be the future, not right now, but she is going to be the future queen of R&B. Okay. Because she has the stats. She has the music. When she sings a song, you feel it. Okay, she don't always got to twerk and lick the floor like other artists have to do. No shade. And so I do feel like she should get that title. Musty Walker, you know, unfortunately, she's not putting in the work. She's too busy getting knocked up. But SZA constantly puts out hits. So we need to address SZA as the future queen of R&B. Okay? But anyway, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link would be in the description. And have a great day.